Timothy Gray is a little boy, you see. He's quiet, sensitive, and shy as can be. When he grows up, only one thing is certain. He wants to be just like Tim Burton. He wanted to make movies like Burton had made because he related to the characters those actors had played. He enjoyed those movies that were so visual about outsiders who seemed very odd and unusual. So he'd make his own films and be the director, then show them to his friends on his dad's old projector. While other kids played sports during long, hot summers, Timothy watched old movies about horrible monsters. Just as Dracula and Frankenstein had come before, he loved that dark world of fairy tale folklore. Drawing was his most favorite activity. He used it to express his dark creativity. By using his whimsical, vivid imagination, he made wonderful, morbid creations. Like witches and giants and dead-like creatures with weird, wild and abnormal looking features. When he'd try and show his drawings to his mother, Timothy saw that she wouldn't even look or bother. His mother would kindly say, that's nice, dear. She must have had x-ray vision, that much is clear. <laughs> He didn't fit in when he went to Sunday school. His classmates were always mean and frequently cruel. So he would play tricks on them more and more by telling them aliens had landed and started a war. It didn't take much for the children to find that Timothy had a most poisonous mind. They gathered together and shouted with glee, don't bother us anymore, strange little Timothy. When the priest had seen all that had occurred, he took Timothy aside and gave him a word. The priest leaned over and proclaimed to him, his artful, dark actions were blissfully sin. You're weird and creepy, Timothy Gray. We all know we are trying to portray. You pretend to be Tim Burton. We all see that's true. You must stop these dark thoughts and the things that you do. It is bad that your mind and your awful creations will earn you a spot in our eternal damnation. You're just a little kid, like the rest of them, Timothy. You should start being yourself. Don't you agree? When he went home with his head dropped down, he was startled by the sight of devils and clowns. <laughs> These ghastly and gruesome figures he couldn't ignore. So frightened and scared, he ran out the door. But, unknown to young Timothy Gray, it was just a surprise party for his seventh birthday. So whenever he would feel afraid and uncertain, he'd go to the movies, and as they pulled back the curtain, his fears and his worries in this magical place seemed to vanish and bring a big smile to his face. It brought him a kind of joyful satisfaction being in the cinema and saying the words, lights, camera. <laughs>